Well, for many of us, our children are in front of screens all day now because of virtual school. And we've long talked about the dangers of screen time and focused on potential issues with the eyes and even the minds of younger people in particular. But today, we're going to talk about hearing. What about those earbuds and the headphones that so many have on for hours and hours? Dr. Kaya Grafenstein is here. She is an audio audiologist with Children's Wisconsin. And doctor, so good to see you. Thanks for being here. Have to admit, as a parent, uh, this was part of the equation that I have certainly overlooked. And you see more kids than I would have expected with hearing problems, don't you? That's correct. Yes, we uh, see children all the time who have different hearing issues for different reasons. Um, but more frequently, recently, we've been seeing children who are having hearing loss secondary to noise exposure. And what are some of the concerns with that? I mean, obviously, a parent hears hearing loss. You don't want that. But what's particularly concerning about that? Well, the concerning thing right now is, as you said, so many children are increasing their exposure to noise through the use of headphones, um, whether it's recreationally, uh, listening to music or watching videos on YouTube, or through school, being that many children are learning virtually, they're listening to headphones for eight hours a day. Um, and headphones are basically little speakers sitting inside your ears. We're talking with uh, Dr. Kaya Grafenstein, who is an audiologist at Children's Wisconsin. So, doctor, what are the, the simple solutions, at least in terms of preventative maintenance, that parents should be keeping an eye on? Well, it's all about time of exposure. So uh, we want to make sure that children, if they are listening to uh, music or anything through headphones at any sort of louder level, that we reduce the amount of time they're being exposed to that sound. I like to remind parents that if you're able to hear the sound uh, through the child's headphone while you're standing next to them, it's too loud. So remind your child to take that volume down and then reduce the amount of time they're listening to that sound, whether it's music, instruction. Um, anything like that. I have already admitted to as a parent not paying close enough attention. I think a lot of moms and dads are feeling that right now. So what are the warning signs if perhaps we've uh, we've let it slip and you have a child in the house who might be having uh, experiencing some hearing loss? Unlike what we kind of think of when we think of somebody having hearing loss, um, it's not as though the child won't be able to hear anything. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that they may be mishearing some things. So if somebody has hearing loss secondary to noise exposure, things might sound muffled and they may mishear uh, what's being said. Another indicator is if the child complains of sounds in their ears, ringing, buzzing, hissing, any sound that isn't coming from outside that only they're able to hear is an indication that there may be some damage to the auditory system, um, and that's something you'd want to get checked out. Dr. Kaya Grafenstein, so good to see you. Thanks for all that really good advice. And to find a doctor or a specialist, or for more information on this or any of the topics that we discuss with Children's Wisconsin on a regular basis, you can head to the link section of our website, tmj4.com.